Uh, I would like to invite our first uh, keynote speakers, uh, Dove Katz, our chair uh, from Morgan Stanley, and Kim Prado, our vice chair from RBC. Dove, Kim, take it away. The FINOS Governing Board includes representatives from the many type of companies that make up the financial service industry. This includes buy-side and sell-side financial firms, fintech companies, and open-source technology and service firms. This diversity is essential in shaping strategy and direction. Representatives from these companies come from both technology and business areas, and this is key in shaping views and understanding how different projects will provide different value. Some technical projects, for example, include the cloud certification and assurance effort, which ensure that infrastructure that we set up in the cloud has all the appropriate controls applied. Data transformation efforts with Goldman Sachs Legend Ecosystem and synthetic data management with Citi's Data Hub project are two other examples of tech projects going on within the foundation. Defining standards to share financial objects between desktop applications, regulatory technology in the FINOS Open Reg Tech Initiative, expressing business law Project in a way that can generate code in projects like Morgan Stanley's Morpher are just more examples. Board members perform the dual role of driving interests within their own firms and working closely with the foundation staff and other board members to identify and share industry challenges that can be addressed by open source solutions with real potential to impact the industry in a great way. The diversity of views and the trust to speak openly with peers who may also be your competitors, like Joe, for example, is a critical factor in driving the direction of the foundation. In our last governing board meeting, we took a step further and established a FINOS Diversity and Inclusion Committee. Ali will talk more about this later this morning. Last year, when Ali and I were on stage, Gap mentioned that we had reached a chasm. 2020 has been a blockbuster year for Finos, and we've definitely crossed that chasm, validating our several years of hard work and partnership. We finally hit the tipping point where financial institutions make up the majority of code and project contributions. Our relevance in the industry was validated when we joined forces this year with the Linux Foundation, and code contributions reached a record high of 1,500 last month. We had about an order of magnitude less last year, and this shattered our previous record by 40%. We are really excited to have joined the Linux Foundation as their financial services umbrella. Finos has always approached accelerating open source and financial services from multiple angles, supporting firms as they establish their policies and procedures around open source contribution, providing a trusted neutral platform from a technical view, as well as a cultural and strategic one, sharing experiences and opportunities, and providing a home for open source projects and standards that have particular relevance to the financial services industry. As Joe mentioned, we're seeing this approach pay off with increased contributions and engagement from banks. Some banks making their first contribution as they find that tipping point that they did last year, while others are making their third, fourth, and beyond and are becoming more streamlined. Firms are recognizing the benefits of leveraging Finos projects. Later today, I'll be speaking about Perspective, which was originally contributed by JP Morgan. Others are getting the internal buy-in to take the next steps. This increased visibility is also driving interest. Innovation and DevOps SIGs are two examples where we're drawing both wide interest and new participants. New participants and partnerships and collaboration with organizations who recognize Finno's potential to help further a common cause, such as ISDA and AIR collaborations that are on the table, and partnerships emerging at home within the Linux Foundation where there is now a more devoted focus on the financial services industry. Open source and financial services is a reality because it's good for individuals and it's good for companies. It's good for business. We're pleased to be involved with Finos and this conference and hope it gives you some idea of what open source and financial services can do as well as some of the exciting things that are happening within the foundation. If you're not already involved in a Finos project, then please do ask us or any of the Finos team, or check online about how you can be.